Hello, this is FG back with the E4 Ambinar. Today we are resuming the Chumwar campaign. And I'm real quickly just going to read this. For millennia, the High Temple stood as enigmas, constructed in a bygone era by a realm long faded from memory, their true purpose shrouded in mystery. Over the ages, philosophers wrestled with the meaning behind the intricate inscription, sages sought to untangle the prophecies they held, and the curse dared harness their power for their own ends. And which Every endeavor, they cast yet another pebble onto the temples, each one adding to the countless others, slowly cracking its shell. For a single pebble accomplishes nothing. Two achieve little, but thousands of pebbles make a difference. A scratch evolved into a crack, and a crack into a wound. While a lone wound may invoke little concern, enduring thousands of wounds is insurmountable. Much like the fate of the high temples, already weakened, these temples crumbled swiftly, eroded by time's inexorable passage both in a tangible and abstract sense. Even the most robust walls of the pristine temple succumbed to the torrent of thousands of spirits suddenly reinvigorated after eons of imprisonment. The high temple shattered. A deluge of spirit, countless in number, flooded the streets as if a supernatural tide rending the land and engulfing nations. From towering peaks to shadowed valleys, the landscape teems with spectral entities. A veritable invasion, as spirits both minute and great converge, driven by a singular purpose, evading the confines of the High Temple and being free once more. And so Hales descends into chaos and fear, spirit and have every nook and cranny. Some benign, some mo though most seem to hold an inexorable aggression towards those that dare suppress them for so many eons. While the spirits reap what we seem to have sowed, our people react in a multitude of ways, spawning doomsday cults, prophesizing the end, and rallying against the state's paralysis due to the rending and demanding action. Yet the majority quiver in their homes, a deceptive sanctuary as if the rending affects as the rending affects everyone and reaches everywhere. Okay, so um We do not, unfortunately, have that magic. Alright. Unfortunately, I was going to try and uh, basically cheese this, but that does not think it's possible. Um, Demon of the Mists. Um, right, I'll read this. On what began as yet an ordinary day in the Demon Hills, a subtle shift was afoot. The sentries entrusted with watching over this foreboding terrain observed the fog thickening, an unusual occurrence that went largely unnoticed. As the guards stood watch, some half asleep, a profound event unfolded deep within a long-forgotten crypt nestled at the heart of the temple. The place where Hokuma... The black mist of the demon hill stirred from his aeonic slumber. Within the crypt, Hokuma manifested as an ominous, inky mist, seething with long-held anger. He rent the crypt asunder, engulfing and extinguishing all life in the vicinity of the complex, showing no mercy to Oni or human alike. His form suffused with an asphyxiating density left no survivors in his wake. For eons, Hokuma had been harnessed, been harnessed by the Oni for his chi and spiritual powers, but that area has drawn to a close. Now Hukomo is free once more and consumed by an unrelenting desire for vengeance upon his captors. His wrath knows no bounds, sparing none in his wake. With the protective wards of the High Temple dissipated, Hokuma could finally extract his revenge upon those who had held him captive. The crush dismem he crushed, dismembered, and tore apart his tormentors bit by bit, employing his shapeless spear in the same merciless manner that had been used against him. Kindness holds no place in his heart, only an insatiable thirst for retribution against all who had wronged him. Alright, um, domain scouring menu, Hindu Bell, uh, Shamans have inscribed rites and runes, seal the ancients, terrorist protectors, and thongs forevermore. Taking the form of a man covered in black oil. Okay, that's bad. Uh. 
Uh, okay, these two armies need to link up. Alright, they are dead. Okay, we also are going to slacken recruitment standards a little bit. Don't want to do it, but it feels necessary. Uh, we want to go deal with these spirits, and then we're going to head. They see the light. Okay, that's good. These guys now. Um, damn. Do that. Uh, we will take an extra forty thousand. Just gonna lose control of that area. Not too much we're gonna be able to do about that. Um, so they siege down something. Of course they did. Fantastic. I'll just power. Oh boy. Powerful Mage Air. Some concessions. I'll take the admin. Okay. Uh, does this area have a temple? Yes, it does. That's a high priority then. Answer. Rest. That. Uh, like that. Spirit bound. And the heart. Traps. And the heart. Not the eyes on. You don't see that get formed huge too often. Yeah, 
take the money. Matter of convenience. There's attack. Damn it. Um. Well, at least they're a powerful air or a powerful mage. Uh, development. Also, just going to give do something real quickly that I probably should have done a while ago. All right, should be all the Gia handed over to their proper authorities, rulers, whatever you want to call them. Red Mist. This proves to be his most challenging task yet for the nation. Restoring the high temples across OS was one feat. Uh, warding elements to restore the temple. Countless individuals and mages were dispatched to find a method to redirect and ensure the Demon Hills felt the impact of the high temple's magic. Many lives were sacrificed in vain, but it was a necessary endeavor to halt the impending disaster. He maintained a cold focus. After years of reconnecting, small. Go ahead and read this yourself. This is too much for me to read. You can go ahead and pause it if you would like to read it. He looked within with a smile at what remained of Hokuma's might. The arcane magic slowly dissipated, its colors turning darker until they were fully sanguine Warring past his bodies, and the only thing Hokuma could see, a black silhouette with a spiral of red arcane magic flowing behind him. You caused so much damage, but don't worry. With your powers, you can undo that. I can repair the damage you caused. With that, he emerged from the temple with the guard, eyes glowing faintly red. They spread their arms, dispersing the fogs towards them, now surrounding in a now surrounded in a shroud of black and red fog, freeing the demon hills from Hokuma's influence once and for all. By pacing it under someone else's. Wow, that's kind of a terrible buff, I'm not going to lie. Uh, let's go with four lords. We will not beg forgiveness. Sentiments, minor inconvenience, let's head this way. I don't care. Increase over extension. Spirit bound. Blow. Okay. Smiles of sorrow. Okay, gone. Minus two and rest to ten production efficiency. Okay. Um the burgers, embrace free trade. I 
I guess Mystic Trade Power. Uh, protect Trade and Fake Ten. Is our truce with these guys up? No, we have another four years. complete. Okay. Uh, the Temple of Tienla is the greatest of them all, and the center temple of the entire system. If it can be corrupted for the Oni, then it will ensure that every other can be adjusted similarly. Strength beyond belongs to those willing to take it. This is no different. Uh, how many men do we get per month? Only fifteen hundred. Tech eighteen. Super over our governing capacity. Um, a couple of those. Alright, let's try and take on the spirits right here. We should have enough. Send these guys in, and they can come in later. The Court of the Kin was in a tense mood ever since the rending began. Messengers constantly coming and going, listening to their reports from generals and scouts about the status of the Four Lords, pretender to the Mandals of Huzian. Months and years passed by carefully carefully preparing and appeasing the Four Great Spirits while they were distracted with each other. While the rest of the state was spending countless resources and manpower to rebuild the high temples that were sprinkled around the region, carefully leading the reconstruction efforts, using the spirits to distract or blame each other so the efforts progress with no issues or, un or attract unwanted attention. Once the restorations are finally done, each one of the four lords will be hosting a festival in one of the high temples. Each is decorated in a specific way, since each great spirit has a different form. A fiery shrine made to the Azure Dragon, elevating him to the same level as Yan He with art and tribute that show power and authority. The Vermilion Bird, a shrine to elevate its grace and ambitions to the same as Fokau. Precious gems and riches paint the shrine. The White Tiger shall be elevated to the same level like... Marutha, with tributes of might and wisdom inside a shrine, and the black tortoise shall mirror Tilabe, filled with masterful arts and craftsmanship. Artists, priests, and craftsmen from across the region called to ensure the proper dedication towards the spirit. A nationwide celebration is called once all temples are prepared. All great spirits are called upon. Court mages and priests do their respective rituals to summon each great spirit towards their respective temple. Fireworks and illusion magics covering the sky. From that point on, Kin could only lean on to their seat as they waited from their balcony. Waited from their balcony the progress. 
to watch the progress, I guess. Carefully watching the sky, waiting for a specific signal to light up the sky from a second once the respective Great Spirit arrives. Hours pass, and one after another, the signals light up the sky. With the third one spotted, Ken orders some wine as, member as numbers of court mage from around the Mongo region. Once the last signal fires, Ken raises his hand as all Great Spirits are finally summoned, each one gorge upon their tributes. The court mages act swiftly, casting an arcane missile into the air, while Ken watches as the High Temples start to shake from their ancient slumber once more, causing the earth to shake. Even the sky is shaking, the spiritual energies are cracking before the horizon flashes in blue hues, followed by a pillar of blue and yellow energies emitted from the temples. One by one, the sky turns bright by the evening hour, but only after a few more moments as the arcane pillars start to change hue in the same colors of the wine that he is tasting. The sky soon fill the sky soon follows as it turns a crimson hue as the clouds gather towards Kin's palace. We get Husian scoured. Alright, and then we can go Domain Scour menu. And we will go to uh Hengdi Hengdu Bowu. Ready. You're found. Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, true exemplar of the community. Alright. There are these guys. They can leave. Comes here. Comes here. Comes here. I'll head over to Tianma. Off you go. Magnificent. I'm actually just going to leave this army to sit right here. You're bound. Magnificent. Draining the heart. Cast a sinister ritual. Yeah, let's go with this. This is going to be... Quite painful as far as the bank. Horseman, there is my Inquisitor. Crown land. I want my manpower to go up too, obviously, but. Uh, we'll get rid of this fort. Get rid of this fort as well. Absolutism, or absolutism is currently at 79. Let's go ahead and get that up. Uh, 
Now up to 21. We need another Inquisitor. Truce with Tanlot is up. Uh, okay, claim all of this. I'll just go ahead with. I should be able to take all this in one war. Yeah. Pressure fleet. Pressure fleet. Uh, a monkey. Yeah, I take the admin power. Now as the High Temples stood tall once more, the time has come to put their efforts to the test. Ken waited patiently at one of the temples, positioned to lead the ritual that would summon the Great Spirit. Snowflakes drifted gently from the sky, a harbinger of the Spirit's immediate arrival. He whispered beneath his breath, they are coming. Several court mages stood nearby, ready to activate the High Temple when the time was right. The earth trembled and he counted in preparation. One, two, three. With a lifted hand, he signaled the mages, and right on cue, Hengdu Bou descended from the heavens, causing a tremendous storm to erupt when he, where he landed. Simultaneously, a magical storm of yellow and blue energy surged from the activated temples, creating a spectacular clash of elemental forces. The Great Spirit leaped into the sky once more, with Kin listening to the wind, instinctively pointing to the next high temple to activate. The court mage, following their leader's rule, launched another magical missile into the air. A pillar of energy appeared onto the horizon, met with, met by a burst of spark as Hengdu Bulu descended nearby. He counted again. One, two, three. Their process repeated as the Great Spirit was led to another high temple, this time the Earth Temple, causing a seismic event that sent people to the ground. We could sense it. The wars of the high temple had intercepted Hengdu Bulu. Without hesitation, he pointed to the sky with both hands, and every mage released a missile into the air, creating a dazzling display of lights that illuminated the heavens. The rest of the high temples activated one by one, while Heng du Hengdu Bulu was still recovering, but this time it won't be a simple net of arcane energies capturing the Great Spirit. Ken had a better idea in mind for the Frog Spirit. The arcane energies did not wrap around the Great Spirit, no. He raises his hand once more, his gaze firm upon the horizon. As the court mage only court mages only nod before shooting a final magical missile into the air. A scarlet red blast bursts in the sky before the earth shakes and the arcane pillars of the tower intensify as in the distance the great spirit is getting surrounded by several sharp tendrils of arcane energies all pointing at the entangled and struggling great spirit who in this state could hear and see the rest blast in the sky before his vision fully turned red. The frog's eyes grow weary before drifting into a hopefully eternal slumber. And so a single blood-red snowflake climbed in front of he who gazed back with a pair of deep scarlet eyes. Peace and power finally returned to the land and its people. Alright. And then we have Yan He. Take this, which will give us new infantry. Uh, let's put some more right here. Get a full trade fleet.
proliferation of muskets. The Walking Dead to arms. Excellent. Can I get to our welcome? Yes, I can. Come right here. Sorry. How much of my leaders are dead, which is unfortunate. Mm. Now take out your admin efficiency. How far over are we now? A lot less over, which is really nice. Their valuables. And we'll take that. Okay, I can attack Lot the Kong without anyone really caring anymore, which is fun. Probably should have been paying more attention to uh, where I was walking. Uh, can we get to their capital? No, we cannot. Spirit bound. Take the army tradition hit. Magnificent. Popular, not unpopular mathematician. Beyond resistance. All right. Is the final nail in the coffin for Yan Shen? will be the command, and we're going to grab the rest of the chain mines off of them. Also, I'm not sure if I did it last episode, but I cored all of this up. Creation is a slow process. That is Seer, finally annexed. The Loathsome Tyrant. Ken looks over the, his balcony towards the rising sun in the east, casting golden rays upon the rich lands. But that only lasts a few moments before yon -Hee shows itself across the land, casting a shadow of might as he patrols the river and lands of like a king of kings, but it won't last much longer. While he basks in the glory of the sun, replacing its spot for the people of the lands, his and his people work in Yanhi's shadows. 
While Yanhi indulges itself in the offerings of the people and spirits, his and his people work in the high temples. While Yanhi rests, Ken and the court spend nights and countless lives restoring the arcane magic in the temples. After years, he can finally walk through the halls and chambers of Tianla and its high temple. Well, for a few moments before Yanhi would approach the Kin and the High Temple. Would approach Kin and the High Temple. <laughs> like the monolith towering over Kin's tiny silhouette, gesturing for his, him to kneel before the ruler of the lands. Alas, if only he could smile, if not laugh. His could only smile. As he casually stretches out his right hand, Yanhi roars in annoyance that he defied his orders. And right before Yanhi could retaliate against Ken, the temple complex lights up with a gorgeous golden hues before it bursts into arcane magic, pushing the great spirit off the temple complexes. Yanhi takes a moment to process what happens before leaning back, looking towards his in the temple complex, pouring out a roar and a divine looking flames only to be blocked off by the temple's arcane energies which are soon followed by several pillars in the distance as other high temples activate on the horizon Ooh, that's a good one only causing further confusion to the great spirit several yellow and blue tendrils thrust out from a from the very river named after the draconic spirit trying to wrap and entangle it a spectacle to behold as the arcane Tendrils and Yanhi wrestle, entangling the spirit more and more with each passing moment till it could not hold itself above the ground, causing his to crash onto the ground with a huge earthquake before the tendrils drag his body into the now bursting river. Kin makes himself known to the people, addressing them from the top of the high temple as the glorious golden rays of the sunshine turn red by the temples. Basked in the blood red light was his causing. The disaster is finally finished. I swear I'm going to turn this land into a paradise day by day, undoing the damage that the spirits left behind and lead us into a brighter future. As now with the power of Yan He, he can change fate as he desires. Alright. Main scouring. Need that. Where is Focal? Lucan to Bloody, Kateen, uh, Focal. We are bound. Excellent. Alrighty. So they could pour all of uh, all of this if we wanted. Okay, so that is a whole lot of the disaster dealt with. Just want to wait for some manpower to come back so I can actually fight a war. I don't want to get... Getting rid of the privileges would help me out, but I really don't want to. Uh, Temple Corruption... Get the rivals. We'll be able to corrupt this temple as well. Excellent. Is there anything that gives me more score cons versus other religions? Yes, but it's not hardly anything. Draining the heart. 
Cast a Sinister Ritual. Power cost. Are we still getting that extra 100%? Uh, back, power prominent court sorcerer. Let's do another epic raise dead. Traders demand aid. Eh. Uh, skill three trade advisor. Also, how much are we making here? That. That. And these guys need to protect trade in Fay Ten. I will also give them a leader. Also going to go with Merchant Navy. These guys will protect trade in Fay Ten when they can. Uh, 72, 80, 67. There isn't anything actually being pushed that way. And I'm going to build. Actually, these guys can go. Put pirates in Bay 10. We are bound, yeah, I know. Let me build my spy network up. Nope, these guys need to hunt pirates in Tianla. Sixteen. All this is being transferred. Also need to pay off your debt. Let's do that. That is fifteen ducats coming this way. Uh, I'll actually turn that off for right now, or I'll just placate these guys. Trade at Kai, enable divert trade. Oh, that's so much money. Okay, we should only have two loans left. That is excellent. Guys, treatment. We are up to getting an extra ten percent from that. And we're going to fight the command with the monster's conquest. This one can just go right there. Cated Harmony, I cause on the rest. 
Yes, so lose all that inflation. How much inflation do we have? 27%. It's pretty bad. Let me just get rid of that. Here, pound, yeah. Okay, come this way. Occupied, that dealt with. The monarch is the state. give us a bunch of bonuses. It's one of the weirder effects in the idea mod. Valuables, pay out another loan. Are we even gonna get taking more score or that kind of not something we do anymore here? So I can do it by these guys. Sorry, and occupy that instead. Siege that down. Ready to go that way. That siege is done. So all of my loans paid off. I can start building more fort houses like crazy again. Hopefully that gives me ticking war score. It did, I think. Mm, yeah, I'll take that. Diploid rep is not super useless, but at whatever point we decide to integrate Gatos, it'll be nice to do that faster. I knew where all these the commands of their armies were. This army can go do them. Common D. How the hell do they have so many people?
Oh yeah, what's the other religions look like? Not many people have flipped the Mystic Accord. Which is weird. I thought the uh, High Philosophy guys had a chance to do it, but... I really don't ever see them convert all that much, although... I think... Righteous Path are supposed to, in theory, convert over to uh, Mystic Accord. Sieging. Yeah, I don't I don't care. Just do that. Okay, so from the Jade March. Next up. Are they not for That goes black step. Oh, that goes to black step as well. That is a jungle. But it was okay. Obviously want all of this. We'll seize their entire border. That's definitely, I think, doable. They're bound. This is shift clicking, which I did not realize was a thing. Let's go to black step. Culture-wise, connect hand, this, I'm going to grant some of these provinces to them so they can deal with it. I don't have to pour quite as much. Uh, toss, create province. Province. Decor to Gaiasa, which is enormous. And I can go subjugation of the goblins. The serpent spine is frankly not worth the effort to control. The architecture, as is, is not conducive to an oni, and our horns make the matters even worse regardless. Thankfully, there's a lesser race able 
to take on the task goblins. These diminutive creatures can be organized into a loose vassalization, a march from the jade mines, a jade march under our control in exchange for such favor, of course, they will need to embed the tenants of the left hand path in their population. Alrighty. Everlasting friendship. Come back this way. Right there. And I can this. Alright. I don't want to deal with that, so I'm going to prevent them from doing that by raising some armies because I'm lazy. And I'm so close to the end of the game. Can I really not take this? I could have taken it, I could get it for less war score. Which... Damn. Grab that, grab that, grab that, 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 that. Put those over the black step. Me, of course, are going to grab all of this. Da, da, da. Eh, those borders look decent. And, of course, we are going to hand the task. Providence. Province. Yeah, another province. And then that too. And we can do that. And we of course put down here. And we need all of these to be twelve development. We'll do a bunch of admin points, or a bunch of mill points, I might as well. Yeah, talk to the Shinigorchi. You're bound. You guys come right there. These guys can move right here, and they can just chill out. too much. Uh, 
Okay, let's go back to these. Develop them a whole bunch. of a kind. Make them eternal. And we do with that. There's zero provinces that meet the requirements. now. What's combat with? 32. Bunch of cannons. There's the Commandant. Treasure fleet. Propaganda, propaganda has its downsides. Propaganda. Ugh. A profitable visit. their wishes. Uh, what else can I take? Holy Kingdom. Are we to maxing out? Close. Hit the button. Usually, harsh treatment is kind of a bad idea for any vanilla game of E4 or anything, but we have so many cost reductions that this becomes a really efficient way for us to get absolutism. Not dealing with that. I'm going to pause the recording and come back when we don't get terrible RNG. Alrighty, I'm back. Spy network on them instead. Sort of sentiment. I don't know.
one here. Redundance conversion wise, what are we looking at? Not great. Although, all the on Shen is done. Take this, which will give me yearly absolutism and maximum absolutism. Don't really have anything interesting here. I have temple corruption. Yes, I do. developed all of these provinces. Okay, treatment, treatment, and then Let's go with more governing buildings. Don't really need any to seize any more land. Blessings from the grandmother spirit. Treatment. Study magic. I don't really have anything interesting. Spell wise. Alright, how do my rebel, or my little, not my rebels, they're not rebels. Hopefully. Feel alright about me. Uh, I'm going to improve relations. Inferno. Firm hand. Riddance. Go up to that uh, spirit bound. It's twenty. Down some 
rebels. Now no longer as over governing capacity as we once were. Our majority expelled. March of Hideous Sorrows. they want me to do now. Manufactories, vassalization, manpower, currency. Yeah, that seems easiest. Could not care less. Investment. Wow. Really grabbing that, aren't they? Their war. Need the money. Have to do something a little bit dumb. Seize land. Monsters Conquest, real quickly. Uh, this poor soul's in. Answer, obviously. Okay. And this 20 stack, not 20 stack, 50 stack over. Actually, be able to get that during this war, probably. Siege magic, summoning. induced rage temple complex damage by siege I don't care
Go and just back to me and these can all come over to me. And where is this one? Warriors finishing blue. Kelvar Bashi. Four, five, three. Five, five, three. So I like get a couple more forts that are up to date just in case. This guy right here. I'll do this fact. Does Chien B run have? Not that many. Let's go with admin. Also, where are those provinces? It's 12. Minus 30 versus minus 80. Treatment um, ninety four. Anything I can do to get a decree. Worth it, dynastic administration. I don't think any of these, no. I could have gotten five more, but it's not worth because I would lose my 5% uh, admin efficiency buff if I switched it over, so.
else can we do? Send the troops in. Shimura, can you get that? Okay, what else can I take from him? Actually, I will take this as well. Da, da, da. Hmm. This looks fun. Is there any provinces I could get? Not that one, not that one, not that one, not that one. Yes, I can get that one. Not that one. Okay, this should totally decimate them. Resistance of the Gia can. Alright. We got the Golden Highway, Scouring Menu. And that does have the Temple. Going to quickly Kudakai Grant Province. Province. Grant that province. How much does that drop it down by? It's pretty good. Convenience, yeah, we don't care about rebels anymore. All right, line abduction. Okay, I need some stuff from Simfrong. Corruption complete. Excellent. There's two more up here. It's complete. We should be able to pour most of this up after we get that done. Highway construction. there instead, so I'm not taking the attrition. Any of these converted? Yes, these have all been converted. Uh, 
dispose of our Simprong. Advancement, Good advancement. State House. All right. Can I do another ritual? Task. Some spirit. Uh, let's go to the task. Fat one. Give me a fat boy. Successful binding. Hooray. Uh, cast a sinister ritual and no. assume the chi. Unnatural light. An eternal Tamangor. Finally, the Tamangor has been given the chi required to become fully immortal. For now, it is entering their body at a rate equivalent to the speed at which it is used. Any less, and they would die. Any more, and they would slowly accumulate. The perfect amount was difficult to divine. Initially, it was very painful. However, the constant exposure has raised the time and gore's tolerance, allowing them to be the conduit, the conduit necessary for some truly great rituals. Alright, these guys can suppress all of those. And now, should have... 100%. Which is wonderful. And just one more. And... 100% absolutism. 30% admin efficiency, 5% discipline. Which brings us up to... 56%. Which is crazy. Through exemplar of the community. Oh, this army needs to make sure that it deals with these guys as well. I think I just have an army parked up in uh, Jiansiang, don't I? I do. of the ancestors. I'll take more admin. There's my commandant. Armory majority expelled. Off you go. Better inconvenience. How much of this do we have? Who the hell is Kuda? Huh. Weird. Necromancer, of course. Rulership. I don't think you can get any more absolute than we are. I should have rested. I am going to do. I am going to pour all of this up. Since it is effectively free. Nope. More highway construction. And I 
can I do what was I doing? Oh yes, influence. We'll be done relatively shortly. Also want to annex uh no, I don't want to do that actually. I do like admin I do like point generation. I would not have any if I were to do that. Riches of the Jade Mines. The Jade Mines are rich in other natural minerals as well, such as iron, copper, and even gemstones. Of what is there, the sustainable rate of mining is far higher than anything the goblins are currently doing. By incentives and investment, the scale of resource extraction can be multiplied several times. These metals can be rerouted into renovations of Senu Kargi, Kargri, which is solely sorely in need of metal to better fortify the structure of the building. The goblins will doubtlessly appreciate the extra funding. Right. We'll include subjects. And that, as we core this up, we can now core everything else up. White. Diplomat. Complete conversion. Simfrong. Declare war on Simfrong, Vemonstrous Conquest, Verkle Ozevar, Cernova. Eh, we don't need to call them in. Most of our rebels are done with, which is very cool. And I will also even go so far as to bring this army that I literally have doing nothing down. Oh, I should actually deal with these guys before I do anything else. Why are those... Are there are separatists somewhere. Because it's Phaeton. Yes. That's that siege down. Magnificent. Okay, who can we talk to? Uh, Verkal Ozevar does not want to give up. These guys will be willing to give up. Because this is Rahan, everything costs 6 billion admin points to core up. 
not not literally six billion, but probably costs six to seven thousand admin though. Rest of that up. Work all those of our. of the Gia command. Alrighty. Time for one guy to sit right there. This is coming to me. You know, I I just want to have this done with. Minor inconvenience. These will obviously want to deal with any sort of separatists. These areas, what's that, and that. This army can come sit right here. Spirit bound, excellent. Deal with all of that. And this guy needs a leader, obviously, and he will deal with that. All right. Goblin refugees. Yeah. Oh, and that's where the rebels were. I knew there was rebels somewhere, I just didn't know where. Any factories, I should get that. Get their valuables. Sentiment. No squatters on our land. Excellent minister. Ugh. Eh, that's actually more valuable to me right now. up the Giacan. Alrighty. 
the finishing blow. The states of the Xi are insufficient to stop the Oni. Their best efforts have been put forward already, and their zenith was obviously not enough. With every province taken, a number of irrelevant monastic orders are slaughtered in their resistance. Bring their retinues along with them and bolstering our treasuries with the spoils. Each monk fiefdom brought low is another army that the Xia cannot muster against us. They are already do not have enough. Kill them all. Show our ages old enemy that resistance is futile and that every slight goes repaid. Once their armies have been slaughtered, punishment will begin in earnest. Uproot everything of note. Every piece of infrastructure can be found. Hand it out to the Shigri. They will handle it much better than the Xia ever could. Human Tiger Harpy, they're all going under the boot. Good for them. Autonomy, who cares? Cowards. deal with that. This needs a leader. Necromancer. Or corruption. Spend the heart. Tarmari minority. Expelled. Spend heart. Ancestor smile upon the rest. Excellent. All right. I had another missionary. Is there any way for me to get another missionary? Great projects. Don't think that's going to have one. No. 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 That one. Wall and the Raheni or Halesi. Okay, yeah, that one. That one will. See the light. Send revolt fours. I'm just gonna march that way. Alright, what can I take next? Expand administration. 
Total suppression. Caramanian rain. Yeah, we can do that. Close to being done with corn, all this stuff. Only 170% over extension. Get parcels in. There's hot springs. Do not care. Go the howitzer. Protest. Whatever. Okay. Construction time. Manpower. Zealous. Spell minorities. Yeah, docile populace seems nice. Funny is I don't think the command holds any hobgoblin provinces anymore. Yeah, they don't. Scouring. Now let's go with Focal. No, I don't care about that. Is there anything I can do? Get more conversion strength. Yeah. Okay. Don't think that actually increased anything. Magic-wise, is there anything fun here? Uh, I'll do Field of Blazing Souls. Magnificent. Shadows of Copper. This needs... Development. Enjoy influence is sixty or greater. The main factory there. 
Creation is a slow process. left a lot behind. Oh, there's unity here. Maybe I can give them one more privilege. Tutelage of the Cursed. Yep. Over Awashi. Six five three. And corruption, yep, that one. Possessed warriors. We are nearly at two hours, so I should probably end this quite soon. Uh, what's in this left hand path? Okay, so I have to convert all of these provinces and then we will make. guys happy and we can do that mission and that will give us a buff right here and we'll have the great shigri done and get the tamagor get the copper sappers We'll finally be able to actually core that, or not core that, but convert that. Alrighty. Well, thank you so much for watching. This is probably going to be the second to last episode. I can't imagine it's going to take too much to get through the last bits of the mission trees. Uh, we'll probably have one more spirit that we can go kick, or we can go fight, but... Got through quite a lot. All of these blank areas are ones that we've dealt with, and the command actually managed to deal with Marutha themselves, which is pretty cool. But yeah, we'll go with Fokau, and I guess get Ketin, and then we'll be done. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed, and have a good day!